Hey everybody, welcome to the new video. And today I have a special guest, my buddy Marcus. You guys recognize him from my older videos, Sunset Hotline. He's here to do a pickups video. I hope you guys are ready. Marcus, are you ready? Yeah, thanks, Reggie. I am excited. Hello, everyone. Yep. So today we're gonna be we're gonna do 10 items each. So hopefully you guys will get something out of this. These are some cool games and probably some other stuff. But uh yeah, let's get right into it. All right, Marcus, so it's been a while since we did a video like this, man. So why don't you start us off with some of your pickups? All right. First up, I got Darius, the extra version. Uh, this is a pretty sweet game, although um, I think they just added some stuff. I can't remember what it is, or maybe it's a European version. I don't remember. I got it from Strictly Limited. I haven't played it yet. Um, the first one they sent me was defective, and uh, I contacted them, and they just sent me another one. I was actually expecting to have to mail back the other one. They didn't care. So, but yeah, pretty cool. Shoot him up. Classic on the Genesis. Right on, right on. Heck yeah, man. So I don't know. Well, there's plenty to start with here. So I'm going to show you guys a game that is pretty chill. Um, this is called The Lake. Um, this is on the PS5. Now, I had to get the PS5 version because um, the PS4 version was the European. So this, um, only America was still on the PS5 version. And it was on sale for 10 bucks. So I said, why now? It's, it takes place, I believe, in the 1980s, and a, a girl, she goes home, back to her hometown, and meets with people after years, and she's a mail carrier, so, you know, it's just a very chill, like, just, like, simple story-driven game, mm. I would say. Kind of like a, cool. yeah, something just very, like, you know, warm-hearted, I would say. You know, a lot of people may like it, you know. Yeah. And, um, you know, for that price, I say, hey, this is something I could build up my PS5 collection. Now, this game by no means pushes the PS5 to its limit or anything like that, far from it. <laughs> but uh i said hey you know like i said 10 bucks pick it up so right, it Mark. follows does it follow the life of ricky lake as she gets her talk show i mean so maybe it pushes, the, it pushes the you know the subjects of controversy and things like that i would hope not man did, no. did you did you used to watch ricky lake back in the day <laughs> i didn't uh, not on purpose not on purpose i watched the richard bay show i thought that one was funny but the other I watched... ones were... Richard, I don't know that guy. Remember Richard Bay? Oh, okay, no. damn, never mind. I guess he was the only local. But <laughs> I watched Jerry Springer. Yeah, Jerry Springer before he got too crazy. That was fun. All right, Marcus, what do you got? Uh, another Strictly Limited. I haven't even opened this yet. It's the Wonder Boy Collection. So, um, so it's that... got Wonder Boy, one, the arcade master system. It's got so many of them, actually. I won't even read them all. But it's probably every version of it out there. Yeah, lots of Wonder Boy. It's like a, you wonder how they got so much boy on here. Man, I, I felt like they, I, it, <laughs> I felt like they should have brought that collection out a while ago, man. Because we got one here in America from them, um, mm -hmm. but it was just the first four Wonder Boy games, just, just those games. I mean, I feel like with that, when it comes to those collections, since they're so old, they need to throw everything in there, so, and they finally did with that one. So. Very cool, exclusive to a Strictly Limited. Our next game here is uh, Clive and Wrench on the PS5. Uh, this is a, a 3D platform game, very similar to, um, you know, something like Banjo-Kazooie, uh, maybe mm. a little bit of Ratchet and Clank, minus the weapons, crazy weapons. But, uh, you know, this, this this game is a throwback, man. And I said, you know what? This, this is a cool game to have on the PS5. Is now, it a treasure hunt style? you think or well i mean you, you you have tasks to complete the levels pretty much but you also collect items during that level to like you know or whatever like that so um there's that thing with it but um you don't have to collect everything but um it, cool. it, it's there if you want to you know collect a thon that's what they're called that's what they call them okay yeah yeah, yeah. that's cool yeah, though you don't have to but it's there if you want it to be did you so. play ukulele uh briefly i was just wondering what you thought of it um there's a reason i played it briefly it's really it's a huge game it's just it's that formula just done times 10. i i liked it that was cool yeah i never beat it but i got really far i should go back and finish it one day one day what yep. else you got buddy oh uh <clears throat> i got this game so i've been playing deadly premonition mm -hmm. and uh the company i don't know if it's a publisher at ak sis this uh this showed up as something that i apparently they made it's called death mark and actually have a sequel as well and i've got the sequel i think i ordered that but anyway i'm excited to try this i have I, no idea i remember when that game was on a vita i think it's like a novel type a visual novel type but i could be wrong though 
Is it but, a novel? I thought it was like a... Well, I don't know. I'll let you know. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Deathmark. Uh, Deathmark. All right, next game here is an awesome driving game, Inertial Drift. Uh, and this is a, a expansion pack with it, a Twilight Rivals. It's a cool racing game. And I... One thing I love about this game is the controls. Like you actually use the analogs to control the car, like how to go and the turn and everything. It feels really good, you know. And there's something about this game that this neon feel. Like it's like at nighttime, just everything looks pretty much like neon lights, pretty much. So it just really mm. kind of stands out. I would say um, it's a very cool racing game. I don't hear enough people talking about it. You know, it's, it's probably one of those games that went under the radar. But the developer had a great idea with this game. And Mar Marcus, you got to play this as well, man. Um, let me see if this game's online. It's two players, so um, it says online. So um, yeah, PlayStation cool. Plus requires it. That means it's online, or it better be. So we'll have a race. Maybe we'll nice. race one day. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's a little bit weird, but I'm I've been really into the uh, Masters of the Universe, sort of the new Origins toy figures and stuff. Yeah. And uh, so I went ahead and picked this up. It's kind of large. Mechanic. And Ground Ripper. Marcus, you have room for that, man? No. <laughs> no, but it's it's so dope, dude. Like, when I was a kid, I had this thing. And, it lo I mean, it looks a little bit updated, but mm -hmm. I love these. I love this line, man. It's like the coolest line of action figures. You did, know, they're they're just hilarious to me. Dude, Plus, did you... the artwork is so good, man. The artwork is so good. It's all, like, the classic, I don't know. So did you finish the uh, uh, Masters of the Universe? I think it was on um, Netflix, the new series they had. No, I think it was called something else. But um, I didn't. It's like, I don't know if that's Masterverse or I don't know what that is. But I watched season one or whatever. Yeah. The I, first half. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Henry oh, Rollins does the voice. That's kind of cool. He's, he's cool. Okay. Henry Rollins is a part of it. Right on. Yeah. I uh, thought it got better as it went. I just never finished it. Yeah, I finished it. Um but I don't really remember it, so it didn't really stand, you know, kind of stick with me, I guess. So yeah. It wasn't that great. Kind of like, um, you know, how Beastmaster 1 movie was awesome, but nobody remembered Beastmaster 2 at I all. never saw Beastmaster 2, man. A lot of people don't even know it exists, you know. So. I've seen pictures, and it is it does it have Mark Singer in it? Same dude. Yeah, see, I should watch it. Is it good? I got to explain it. Nobody remembers yeah. it. So. <laughs> It's Marcus. It's oh, I mean, even for the hardcore fan, it's it's yeah, yeah. I, I, you have to watch it, man. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to like kind of like. Does he have his little animals like Kodo and the little? I think he has them all. Ferrets in, and he just yeah. looks weird in the movie. Like he looks off kind of in a way. Like not yeah. really all musk. Yeah, it's strange. All right, next game here. Yeah, <laughs> it's a game I've been waiting on for a while. I was actually going to get this game on PS4, but he ended up canceling the PS4 version. Or at least I up until now they canceled it. Amazon canceled my order, so I switched to this version. It's a Siberia, um, the world before for PS5. Oh, really? Nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. So you know I'm a big, I'm a massive Siberia fan, and yeah. this is the fourth game in the series. And um, I gotta say, this is probably the best one. Uh, I, I think you know, um, from what, at least from what I've seen of it, you know, it looks like it's gonna be something special. You know what I mean? Especially from the third game. My favorite in the series is probably part two, but this one is looking to be like, you know, this is going to be on my top one, I would say. But um, I got to get through it all the way, 100%. But I love the whole aspect of the game, how it goes back in the past to the present. And it helps with kind of the story kind of intertwines and everything like that. So um, happy that this game came out. Um, hopefully they'll make a sequel to it as well, because I, I, I know that the creator recently passed. You know, but I think he there uh, he left notes for the story, so they'll be able to continue the story for it. So, uh, because I hear the, the story doesn't end with this one, I was hoping it would end with this one and they can move on. But nah, they kept it going. And the reason I want the story to go on because it takes so long for a sequel to come out, you just never know what's going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. The gap between Siberia two and three was horrible. I think it was almost thirteen to fifteen years. That's like that's great. Um, are you so I get it mixed up? Is this the longest journey series too? No, no, it's totally different. But it plays like those games. It's a point and click adventure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's more modern. And what? Because wasn't there a huge delay in the longest journey? Yeah, they the... had to, they had to kickstart it, man, to get the final games done. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So and luckily that happened. 
it was done really well. They tied up most of the loose ends, thankfully, in that series. But um, yeah, it, it was a big gap between um Dreamfall and then the Dreamfall. Long- that's it. Yeah, Dreamfall. Like, what is that called? And then the Dreamfall chapters, which were was the final of those games. So yeah, hmm. cool. Uh, all right, this is a game that I'm glad I picked up when it showed up for the brief time it was available. Razion EX. Marcus, uh, I've been looking for that. Do you yeah. have extra? No. <laughs> Usually buy extras, man. Damn it. <laughs> this is uh, NG Dev. Follow them because they release stuff randomly and they they their stuff sells out pretty quick and it's like really expensive. Like so, um, but it's a really good shoot 'em up. I actually was recently playing through a bunch of like switch shoot 'em ups with mm-hmm. my uh eight bit do um arcade stick and I was like just I was rolling through all these games and I'm like, yeah, they're kinda cool. I'm gonna fucking throw this in and I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, there you go. Razion you want- EX. Right on, right on. Uh Marcus, you heard about the company called Whatnot, right? Yeah, I need to do that sometime. Yeah, yeah. Um at one of the shows, I, we were supposed to do a giveaway, but they totally forgot about it. You know, I'm trying to hit them up, and they're like, just they don't care anymore. It seems like, but um, I got the whatnot um video game, you know, the clear case one and the gray case one. So um, what's on there? Uh, I forgot. It's a game that Riggs put together. I think it plays like um, what's that game called? Um, Fix It Felix. If I oh, remember. Okay. Right. It's yeah. like a hacked version of that, I believe. So I, I can't really remember. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And and you know, the, the clear cart actually lights up. You know, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So pretty cool. Only get like maybe ten of these made. I have one. So I'm, maybe there's more. I, I I have no idea. But um, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do you got, buddy? Uh, okay. I got one from. Is this limited run? No. Bitmap your bureau. Final Vendetta. You heard of that? Yeah, I was I actually uh, played the game a couple of months ago and beat it. Yeah, I, um, I wish I it was online, it. dude. It's so it's so much fun, Mark. You would really like that game. Yeah, I'm excited. I I just got this, so yep, I'm gonna check it out. Okay, okay. Like my beat 'em ups. All right, so next game here is Arietta of Spirits Collector's Edition. Uh, Whoa, oops, man. Upside it's down. upside down. Yeah, sorry about that. No little glare there. But um, yeah, I, I got this from Red Art Games. This is a really cool uh, game. Uh, I talked about it before. It, it plays like a, a top down Zelda game, but you play as this girl. Her and her family go, uh, they go on a summer trip together, and you start to, her, her past starts to reveal itself during the story. You know, like her grandmother had passed away, and they used to do trips together and do a little side quest with that. It's just, it's just really well put together and it's and i feel bad because i wish no more people knew about this game you know but i'm, I'm, I'm trying to push the word out for it but um yeah i got it uh, i got just the standard edition a couple years ago but i said you know what time to get the collector's edition and represent so that's you cool got, you guys see this game out there or you know i would say definitely pick it up download it it's available on switch ps4 xbox all that stuff so yeah i really like red art games actually they dude i like dude they're like, like, they're my top three yeah half their stuff is kind of weird but then half of it's awesome yes um <clears throat> all right video games new york uh-oh hermes <laughs> <laughs> for the dreamcast and uh this game looks really weird i don't know how to describe so you, it but you, you you play as a cook who he's trying to collect he's trying to collect like think ingredients and everything like that and mm. you eat, you have to eat food on the way or whatever like that. But if you eat too much f- food, he busts out of shit like while, while he's walking. So you have to be careful not to eat too much because it will go crap in his pants. And that'll be the end. That's like an end of, that's like you lose a life when that happens. It's freaking what? hilarious, man. Oh, cool, cool. Well, what's good is it comes with a little VMU, a custom yeah. VMU. Yeah, man. That's on point, dude. Heck yeah. And I have, oh, I have a announcement that I can tell everybody because sure. I'm slowly working on it. Um, but I have a, you know, Malibu Mode 7 album. There's the Blue Crush CD, which I released a couple years ago. I just re- released uh, Pink Crush on CD, and which is great. But I've been doing music videos on my channel. And on Blue Crush, what I did was I compiled them into a Dreamcast uh, mill CD. So in other words, I'm, I'm putting together a Dreamcast video album. 
um, and I'll be releasing it. And um, I'm trying to actually like talk to some companies to see if anyone wants to help distribute it. But if not, I'm just going to do it on Bandcamp. So, but it'll okay. be like the actual Malibu Mode Seven Blue Crush, ten music videos, all playable with a menu and everything on the Dreamcast. And I it took forever to figure out how to do it, and I had to like get somebody to help me. This guy, Mister Neo. Mm-hmm. And anyway, yeah. right on, man. You got that I, take care of. I love the Dreamcast. I'm like a Dreamcast fanatic. So, would you say it's your top favorite system of all time? No, but it's like up in the top five. The top five. That's good. That's good. Right on. That means yeah. Okay. Cool. Where's it at with you? Uh, definitely, I would say uh, it's probably at number six or five of my top systems. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. You know, Whereas, it would it, it would have been higher if it if it lived on like uh, in America more. Yeah. You know, if it didn't die because it died in two years. So in America, yeah. So kinda, yeah. Yeah. All right. So next game here, I just got this the other day. This is the Rumblefish Part Two for the Switch. So this is a fighting game. Cool. Um, the first game was only released on the PS Two. I think if you get the collector's edition of this game, you, you would get it as a, the first game as a download. I wasn't too worried about that. It's one of the standard edition, but this game is tough, man. It's it's, it's tough, and um, it, it's not one of those games that'll hold your hand. Like you know how a lot of new fighting games, you can push one button and you'll do a combo, you know, just by pushing one button. Yeah. Oh, you have to like, you know, mix it up with this game, learn combos, and you know, yeah. pretty much strategize in this game because it, it's it's tough, especially the final boss, man. You fight this crazy lady that has like these her her super bars are like all, already full pretty much, and she's just, like. She brings it, so you got to be careful in this game. But it was a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I did beat it, and um, I would say it's, it's it's definitely a game that hardcore fighting fans would want to try out. Do you use a fighting stick or just the gamepad? The fighting stick you had, I, I that's locked up still, so I just use the regular gaming pad to kind of casually play, you know? Yeah. You're talking about that Mad Cat Street Fighter Five one? Mm. Um. Yeah, man, that looks fun. Yeah, yeah. Rumblefish 2. Part 2. Uh, are you, are you going to pick it up, Marcus? Mm, I'll play it. No, at, that's at a no. your house. You should have said I'll play no. it at your house and you okay. can, we'll see if it's good. <laughs> no, I'll see I want to see some footage, so I'll watch this video. Um okay. All right, I got another uh random thing here. This is um uh this is too limited. <laughs> Reggie, you know <laughs> that joke. Yes, I remember that joke. <laughs> Too uh, limited. <laughs> it's the Contra collection from Limited Run and Konami. It's got all the Contra games. I have no idea what the, you know, emulation is, I guess, how good it um, is. From what I remember, was pretty good. You know, depending on what kind of controller you play with, I, I heard that, like, the PlayStation controller for those older games might have a little bit, like, a lag. But if you get another professional controller or something like that, it picks up. It's, it's pretty good, so. Like, if you're wired... Not yeah, I mean you can't really wire anything anymore because everything wired is pretty much just for charging now. You know, it, the, yeah. everything goes off Bluetooth and everything. So, but yeah, I I hear I haven't heard really any complaints about it, man. So it's probably a good port. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if the soundtrack's in here or anything, but that'd be cool. All right, next up here. Um, I, hopefully, I pronounced this game right. You did Chronicle Rising. Um for the ps4 sorry about that glare there but i will yeah we'll have something on the screen anyways um this is like this is from the creators of the sui coden series a suikoden series whatever you want to call it that's cool yeah yeah they made their own little side game and they're, they're making another one it's going to be like very similar to, to the sui coden series Su coden series um looking forward to that but i wanted to pick this game up to support them and i hear it's a lot of fun so looking forward to playing it man nice uh, they yeah. just released the vinyl album to Sikoden. Did you pick it up? No, I listened to the album and it, it was kind of cool to go back and listen to it. But I was like, eh. did you ever beat the game back in the day? No, but you know, it's one of the very first PlayStation games I played. Right on, dude. You know, I mean, what it get... was like early. Yeah. You know what vinyl I'm looking for, man? It's like really expensive now. Splatterhouse? No, it's a hat in time. You ever heard of that uh, game? Uh uh-uh. uh. Hat in Time? Yeah, it's a 3D platformer that has uh-uh. really good music, man. I was like, it's on point. Oh, and cool. The, the vinyl record is so expensive. They have two of them. 
there's a they had a volume two and i think that's out now still but i, I can't pick up part two unless i get part one so it's like oh but um anyways yeah. man what else you got buddy uh all right i got another um i got another doll figure okay i'm just kidding around but that's Ronin. the Ninja turtles this is from NECA's Holothon, Target um, Holothon that they had. And yeah, it's the last Ronin. Pretty dope. I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan. Who's your favorite? Raphael. Me too. Right on, man. So, choice. pretty dope that he's... And you're the one that told me about the comic on this. Yeah. I mean, Reggie's looking out, man. I was like, holy shit, that was like two years ago or something. Yeah, it was, dude. And the comic um, was insane. Yeah, so this is this is the action. They actually made multiple action figures, but this one's all red. And um, yeah, it's like oh, and actually, uh, oh, shit. I don't know when you're putting the video up, but the holothon was all of March every Friday, and they would release figures at like six a.m. Anyway, really? Yeah. So this one I ordered like a couple weeks ago and just showed up. Damn, <laughs> right on. You can dude. also find them in your Target stores, but I don't have one near me, so I have to use the internet. Okay. All right, so next up here, I have Gelatinous for the Game Boy. Um, I have no idea how this game plays. I recently got it. It looks like some kind of platform adventure game. But it, it's nice to see that the Game Boy is still getting physical releases, man. That, that really always impresses me. Like, the Game Boy system is, I mean, the Game Boy system is over, like, 30 years old, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so pretty, pretty crazy. So happy to have that in the collection. Uh, all right. Well, this is my 10th item before the bonus, right? Mm. Masters of the Universe. <laughs> the uh, PAL the, version. It only came out in PAL. Wow, dude. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's, it's pretty terrible. Actually, it's not like awful, but it's short. I haven't played it yet. I actually don't have a way to play it because uh, I don't have a PAL PS2. Oh, man. They're, they used to be everywhere. They, if you yeah. get, actually get a slim one. Look at that, though. It's nice and complete and beautiful. Uh, pretty cool, though. I mean, it's I've watched um, some gameplay online, and it looks kind of meh, to be honest with you. But, okay. you know. Right on. You fight Skeletor. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah, he's all bone. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. So, <laughs> Actually, I have a funny story about Halloween in, like, 1988. I was I was in living in Bend, Oregon, and mm -hmm. uh, which is where Last Blockbuster is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was living there, and uh, my friend, he was a little bit younger than me, and we were in the checkout line. And uh, my stepdad was like, I don't know, man. We, we basically had these like little skeleton guys that were like bendy, like, you know, Gumby, like bendy little skeleton guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, so we were in the checkout line and my friend was like, oh, cool. Can I get this? And my stepdad's like, sure, whatever. And so I grabbed one, too. <laughs> and we both were like in the checkout line with these things. I was like, seriously, like eight years old. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway he's he's like seven and he's just like oh this is so cool uh, oh sorry my bad i was a little bit older i was like 10 and anyway he goes he's like i'm gonna name him boner and the cashier <laughs> the cashier my stepdad and me like all started dying because you know he's so immature but we're just like oh all right and he's just and then like literally like we never told him but then like he went home to his family and stuff i was there and we were like having dinner, just like, come on, boner, let's go to get like. <laughs> uh, oh my god, dude, that's hilarious, man! And nobody yeah. and nobody would tell him anything. That's all. Was <laughs> having fun. I, it's just they're like, huh? Okay. <laughs> right on, yeah. right on. I'll never forget the cashier's face, though. She was like this young girl. <laughs> that's pretty Neither. hilarious, man. So my last item here. Okay. Another Game Boy item. This is the Quest. Quest Arrest. Quest Arrest? Yeah. Oh, another Game Boy. Sweet. Yeah. Have you played this game before? No. Mm -mm. You ever played Quest Arrest? Nope. Quest Arrest or Quest Arrest? I mean, Quest Arrest is what it says. Quest Arrest. Okay. Is it the best? <laughs> if you jest. Wait, is this a test? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no uh, idea, surely man. Surely you jest. <laughs> uh, it looked like a Pokemon type game or RPG, so. Cool. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> but that's my 10 items. And then I have the special item here. All right. Um, my special item is uh, the analog pocket. Dude. This thing is fucking sick. Um, if you want to go check out <laughs> the last video on my channel, I don't know when you're posting this, but it's, I just do a little tour, but I went through and figured out how to like load it all up with all these different systems, all these cores. And uh, like, I originally bought this cause I thought, well, I'll get, you know, I'll load the cartridges here and put in like um, an EverDrive for like the Game Boy and the mm -hmm. Game Gear and all that stuff. And then I, I started to, go online and like update the firmware for this and mm -hmm. i'm like i just stumbled across all these guides on how to load up like all these different cores so it's got like all these different cores like and, I, and i've got them loaded man you know like you go into like super nintendo and it's like you know every game you know and uh here's run saber and they all like just run like amazing also the neo geo games all look really good mm -hmm. um they and and you can hook up Bluetooth controllers to this and there's a dock so you can capture footage if you want, but the um, 8-bit do arcade stick is sick with this thing So anyway, right on, that's, dude, right that's on. my highlight. That's my bonus item that, that thing is so hard to come by dude I feel bad for a lot of people who have it pre-ordered. They're still waiting for it. You know, it's um, I got you know It's weird is that day that it that it went up for pre-order um, It told me what? number i was i can't remember and i was like oh shit that's gonna i was like that's a ways away and then it just shipped and i got it right away and i'm like holy crap and then um if you go to their website now they still say that they're sh shipping it's just gonna be this year so i don't know okay like why it got delayed or whatever but well still still a very cool item my next item here it was gonna actually be multiple items before we close out because um um recently jason hooked me up with a bunch of these game boy games so the first one here is, is some of these are hard to pronounce too, man. But um, yeah, let's this we'll just try to go through them. Um, here is a uh, Pine Creek. I think you're familiar with. Nice, this one. I've got that. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, that company. Uh, I forget the name of the company, but you can go to their website and they have really good releases for the Game um, Boy. Here is um big to small. Yeah, that one. I like small to big, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Marcus. The next one here is Dedius. I think that's how I pronounce it right, right? Oh, de yeah, Dead Dedius or Dedius. Oh, I and that I one's that one's getting a re-release. I'm not sure when it is or if it already happened, but it was really rare. And then they're making like a different version that um, is being re-released on their website. Shit. So, Marcus, I'm about to cut this part, man, because we're about we're gonna have to. It's about the end, so we'll, we'll just start over with that part where I, I show my games, okay? But that was awesome, and just we only got a minute left. We can wrap it up. Let's okay. wrap it up. Let's keep it on. Okay. Don't show all those games, dude. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah, man. You got those games in. Talked about Deadius. How many more you want to do? Uh, okay. I guess we can end it there. Well, hey guys. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Um, it was a fun <laughs> stream. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, not stream, just doing this video with Marcus was awesome, man. It was, it was definitely a throwback. But anyways, Marcus, let people know where they can find you, man. Uh, check out Sunset Hotline, and then if you're ever in Astoria, Oregon, check out Galactics. It's a uh, sci-fi arcade that I run. Yep, so pretty awesome, guys. All right, Marcus, man, thanks for being here. Hey, guys, Thank you, Reggie. Reggie. And we will see you later. Bye.